Hey, tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order your favorite gear at TennisExpress.com today. Even Andrew Murray is quick to admit, as he did on X this week, that he is in the midst of a terrible moment. And he says he knows that most people in his situation would probably quit tennis right now, but that doesn't make it a good idea to call for his retirement. Nevertheless, tennis fans and pundits just can't help themselves. How long has it been since Murray reached the second week at a major? Well, just about seven years, actually, at Wimbledon back in 2017. Back then, when Murray was a spry 30-year-old who didn't have a metal hip. Tennis journalists can't help themselves either, even Scottish ones, who you would think would be decidedly loyal to Andy. In a recent column for the BBC, one writer asks this. When does it become clear that the massive investment of time, energy, and effort isn't paying any kind of dividend? At what point does bravely soldiering on start to damage his legacy? Well, Murray, stern combatant that he is, quickly took offense to the article and jumped on his phone to bang out a heated reply. Tarnishing my legacy, he asks? Do me a favor. I'm in a terrible moment right now. I'll give you that. Most people would quit and give up, but I'm not most people, and my mind works differently. I won't quit. I'll keep fighting and working to produce the performances I know I'm capable of. There were many who took Andy's side, namely Andy Roddick, Martina Navratilova, and Andy's mom, Judy. Yes, journalists have a right to say what they want, but we do then have a right to respond. We can reply with our own questions, and among those questions, how is being one of the most incredible fighters in the history of our sport tarnishing a legacy? Does it matter if Andy returns to the top 20 or makes a deep run at Wimbledon? Let us not forget that Murray was close last year when he reached the final in Doha, and he may yet get close again, but not if he retires. So to those who think it's a waste of time for Murray to struggle in this terrible moment, we say this, don't watch. As for the rest of us who truly appreciate Murray's desire to end his brilliant career on his own terms, let's enjoy the ride and appreciate the man's effort, not just whether he wins or loses. One thing we can all agree on, we will miss Andy Murray when he's gone. What say you? Join the conversation and we'll see you next time.